Hey everyone, happy Monday. Uh, I know, it's the Monday is Monday. Um, <laughs> um, so if you don't know me, I'm Carly Myers. I'm the founder of Work You Love. And what I do is I help people who are no longer happy at work find their joy. Um, that typically means remedying burnout and helping them build their dream career. So I actually um, have had a lot of conversations with people recently that are in transition. Um, people who are um, either working a full-time job and want to transition into um, another job um, or into entrepreneurship, um, or also people who have been laid off by these big, huge companies uh, are trying to reinvent themselves. People who are just trying to make a pivot, you know, pivot in their career. And so what's interesting about the folks that are working a nine to five, um, and I say a nine to five, but nine to five isn't always the case, right? So for those of us who are working a full-time job that is more than full-time, right, that it's expected us it's expected of us to be there nights and weekends when a problem comes up. We are always on call. How do we find time to get out of this cycle, right? How do we have find time to get out of the job that we didn't even want probably to begin with um, and maybe accept it because we were in a financial hole um, or needed uh, to save money or just needed a job? How do we get out of that pattern of working all the time and create time for ourselves so that we can build the career that we want it for ourselves, that we want still for ourselves. And so it's interesting to me, um, this whole time management piece, right? I think a lot of us know how to manage our time. If we wanted to create more time, we could do it. But sometimes we're afraid uh, that maybe that time is spent selfishly. Um, we can't justify taking away a certain amount of time from our day job or taking away a certain amount of time from our family. Um, hey Lauren, taking away time from our job, um, from our obligations, from our responsibilities, because it feels like it's frivolous, selfish, etc. And so one of the main things that I recommend, uh, one of the best things that I might recommend to folks who are trying to make a pivot in their career when they've got a ton of time allocated to another job um, or another opportunity is to sit down and really think about all of the value that you bring into the table that you bring to the table and also all of the you know the importance you know think about the importance of this career transition in your life so if you don't do this what will happen how will you feel and if you do do this, what will happen and how will you feel? And so I just talked to a woman earlier today who hers was like, I don't want to die working this job. Like, I don't want to die. I don't want to end my life as the person who worked in this position for this organization. And so that's how she would feel, right? She would feel devastated that she didn't fulfill her purpose. Her She was focus on spiritually driven, purpose driven, right? And so think about all of the value that you bring to the table that you can give to society and to the people around you and to yourself that you currently are not able to give. And then think about what would happen if you, you know, what are the consequences of you not giving that? And what are the consequences of you giving it? And when you find that sense of motivation that is what happens, right? You reinvigorate a sense of motivation. You realize why you as a human are worthy of even 10 minutes a day to job search or 10 minutes a day to build your business, right? 30 minutes, an hour. It, as you go, the value you will see in yourself will grow and you will know that you are worthy of that extra time. So this is really a question in, in feeling worth it feeling like I'm not being selfish. In fact, I'm doing the world a favor in making this career transition. I'm doing the world a favor in pursuing my calling. I'm doing the world a favor by helping the world with what my talents and, and skills and heart-centered actions can give. And so really, if you feel like you're struggling with time, evaluate that. 
and then evaluate where you, when you have the motivation, what can you take out and where can you fit that time in? You can find 30 minutes, everyone can find 10, find 10 minutes, even if it's you on the toilet, all right, working on your business, working on your career shift, researching jobs. But you have to find the motivation within to make those adjustments, to know that you're worth it so that when someone calls you out on the change in schedule, that you can say yes, but it's only 10 minutes, it's only 30 minutes and all, it's only an hour, it's only one day a week or more, and I'm worth that. So remember, you are worth it. You are worth setting aside that time. I know you know where to find that time, but it's where you find your worth so that you're dedicated to find that time. So um, I hope this was helpful for you, a little Monday motivation to make the time for you, for what you want, for what your purpose is, for what the world needs. And um, I hope to hear from you if you're struggling. I'm always, I'm always have an open ear, uh, a shoulder to cry on, you know the deal. Um, you can shoot me a DM, you can comment on this post, but I wanna hear, why are you worth it? Why are you worth putting in that time? What is the difference that you can make in the world? What are the skills that you have? What is your value proposition? All right, I love you guys. Thank you so much for coming on live, watching me, and sharing your thoughts. Okay.